What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Neocube top. Now, that was a one-handed spin. Usually when you spin top, you use two hands, like one, uh, like a, hold on, can to get off the screen. And you spin it, like, usually when you spin something, you spin it like this. And that was one-handed, and that's very hard to do and get spinning good. So that shows you how well um, of a top this makes. And this uses all 216 spheres. I'm going to smash that up, draw me out a little bit of a line. And for this video, I'm going to be zooming all the way in. And I have not done a video zoomed in all the way um, yet. So this is going to be my very first zoomed in video. So forgive me if I get off screen when I'm zoomed in. Um, if you look at the marks on my table that I've made, this is about the area I'm going to be working in. So sorry if I'm not completely on screen. Let's zoom in right quick. Alright. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make a normal pentagon. But instead of just one wrap, you're going to wrap it twice. So I'm going to go around it a second time. And now you're going to turn it over, and you're going to skip the corners and go all the way around. So there's three, you're going to add, you take that back off. You're going to have, instead of putting one all, instead of doing a, whoops, instead of doing another wrap, you're just going to skip the corner. So you're going to put three here, three here, three here, like this. So three, skip the corner, three, skip the corner, three, you're going to do that all the way around. And you're gonna do it again, but you're just gonna put two on top of each each three that you have, like that. All right. Now after you've done that, that's what it should look like. You're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it in like that. Do this all the way around, all five of them. Alright. Now what you're going to do is... Uh, I'm not sure how many this makes up. I haven't really counted. I should count. Um, but you're going to... You're going to put in a, a ring around this. So it's going to be attached to these, to these in this, but it's going to be around on the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my sphere right there. I'm just going to go all the way around it. Just like that. And now you're going to take five spheres. And you're going to attach it to that. Um, you're going to attach it to that. In the link connection, you're going to let it go. It's going to snap right into place. And that's going to give you back your shape like that. Back into a uh, slope point like that. And you're going to turn it over and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to add five. Wait. Yeah. You have your... This, this ring, you're going to go one ring down. You're just going to... Add in your five, one ring, if I can get it to go in there, one ring down. So don't attach to this one, you're going to attach to the se second line in. And then you're going to go around and you're going to add one sphere to each of these tips that are missing a sphere. You see that? You're just going to add in a sphere. Hold on a second, I need to draw up some more line. Okay. Now you're just gonna go all the way around, all the way around your shape with it upside down. All right. 
Now, turn it over, and then you're going to again skip the corners like I said before. And then you're going to go back around it again and add more to the top of that. And you're going to fold those up. You're going to go around and add a sphere to each corner. And then you're going to do that again. You're going to, remember, skip the corners. Now these don't, these lines are adding now, they don't, they won't line up correctly across the thing, so don't worry if it doesn't, if it's, if it's not lined like you kept seeing me push on the one thing, it's not going to be 100% perfect whenever you do that. And then you're just going to go back and do your second second thing across there. Okay. Then you're going to fold these ones. After you're done doing that, you should have six. And you're going to use all, you just use all 216, so that we're going to use those. So don't put them away. And you're going to fold it up. And you're going to add a sphere to the tip, and then you're going to go around and each one of those spots you're going to put in a sphere. Alright, and then if you look, you can see that there's these two spheres, you're going to pinch these two spheres together, and in the first one usually takes quite a bit of force. All the way around and do that. There you have it. There is your NeoCube top, and this is the best top you can make. Um, like my other video, my I think it's called my super simple Neo, my super simple NeoCube top. Um, that one does work, but it's n nowhere near as good as this one. Um, if you want to see that one, this one only uses, you can make like five of those with this, and it's, you can make five of those with a, an entire NeoCube. So if you want to see that, the link should be on screen somewhere, like somewhere near at the bottom. But, as you see, this, I, this is still spinning, and it's about to stop. And that is how to make a NeoCube top. The best NeoCube top.